Hi, this is Dominic. Let's start on a new empty file with a simple example, a 2D top plan of a window. Um, first I check if all objects are aligned to the design layer plane. The second one I do is uh, I group this whole drawing to one group. Let's call this the drawing group and after that I am drawing my reshape zones in top of this drawing. The first one by the window wing and the second one uh, with the whole width of my window. These reshape zones have to be polygon so I convert them to a polygon and after that I need some further important component for the reshape zones. This is a dimension which is related to the input value of my Marionette script. Also it gives a relation to the drawing uh, value. The name of the parameter is a prefix of my dimension text. Uh, coloring is not necessary but uh, it looks better. So let's give the zone and the dimension the same color and after that I got in the prefix of my dimension text and give it the name. Only the, uh, the first two characters of this name are used as a name and the rest is just annotation. So I can write there what I want. I make the parameter 1 to the, the whole width of the window and the parameter 2 I uh, make the uh, uh, flügel window wing in English flügel and after that I make a group with all parameter groups together. Let's call it uh, the parameter group. The biggest job in this um, parametric drawing is to create this additional data for reshape zone so it might be better to use something exists and copy paste a new drawing inside of this but uh, for this time we do it from scratch. Um, I make a symbol out of that, I make a blue symbol and a 3D symbol. Uh, it's not necessary but um, it saves some ungrouped nodes inside my Marionette network. So, the last step is to adjust our Marionette network. We have here a, a custom node for inserting 2D symbols. This is something that's available on the community board. And we have that new reshape node, which needs a group input. And this uh, little node to make a a tuple list out of a list which lists my parameter names and my parameter values. The most important thing here is that um, I input the group uh, in this reshape node and my input values for my parametric objects have to be named the same way um, like my dimension in my drawing. So this is the only link between my drawing and my uh, Marionette parameter. So this has to be the same way. Uh, also here, uh, just the first two characters have to be named properly, the rest is annotation. So last thing we got to do is now wrapping this together and making an object node out of this 
it looks a little bit strange but it's normal because I have some additional geometries to test uh, test this uh, I just delete it and our uh, object still has uh, some strange values and there is a, an important checkbox to show the original drawing or not I normally got to hide this original drawing with the checkbox because um, this is just need for uh, debugging and searching errors. This uh, example here is very interesting because it shows something uh, other, uh, um, another feature um, and this feature is we can uh, make a, an operator as a suffix of a dimension and make a relation to the to another value. So I can uh, make two dimensions which are related to the same parameter name and uh, are calculated with a factor to it. So maybe an, an easy one is uh, that uh, green one left here. Um, here we can see that it is related to the height of the door and has a factor from 1 point, uh, 0 0.5 and this is half of the height this object is automatically um, placed. And as we can see, if I make the door higher, uh, all objects are automatically uh, distributed um, uh, and I have no uh, input value. I need no input value for them because they are calculated from the, the system. Also, this is uh, uh, working with 3D object with walls inside of uh, it. Um, the problem here is to resort the object because by inserting a blue symbols with hybrid objects, I got to reorder them in a special way. But it's possible. I'm really impressed how we could combine our scripts and insert objects in walls, uh, tagging data, creating work sheets and I'm really looking forward to create more stuff with Marionette in future. All these examples are available on the community board in the Marionette forum. Bye bye, cheers! Thank you.